Robotnik wants to control humanity with his machines. Sonic is a power that he needs to control the world. Is that all you got? No, but thank you for asking. Uh-oh, that's not good. I just thought you might like a latte with steamed Austrian goat milk. Of course I want a latte. I love the way you make them! I think I'm kind of right in the zeitgeist with this character. Give me a big, fat break! The mustache was ridiculous. I wish I could grow it. Being able to do a movie that brings a good memory back and connects with new generations of people, it was really amazing. I've been very lucky in that regard. I'm just having so much fun. We've created a monster we won't be able to control. Little did you know back then, playing the game till 2, 3 in the morning, you'd be in the movie. Right, yeah. I mean, well, that's another reason why it was like, yes, yeah, sign me up, I want to be a part of this. It's like, you know, it's rare that you get an opportunity to, to uh, bring something to the big screen that was that has such mythology and such history and, and, and pop culture. Like, uh, X-Men was a really special thing for me to be a part of, and, and now to kind of bring this guy to the screen is... Uh, is pretty cool too. And you're working with somebody who's blue again. So right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, boy, you were the first person to make me realize that. All that's right. true. Yes, and he was also painted. There you but go. But on a computer. <laughs> and then in this way, I mean, here you are. You're the sheriff in your hometown, growing up, or where you yeah. grew up. And like anybody, a lot of times you think it'd be great to move to some place bigger and all like that yeah. with your family. Yeah. He feels like there's more purpose out there, out there somewhere for him, and he, you know, he meets this guy yeah. along the way unexpectedly and becomes friends with him, mm -hmm. and and kind of like a father figure friend to him, mm -hmm. and discovers you know his uh, his new uh, definition of purpose that way. I'm quite sure you played it like everybody else. Yeah. Did. Could you imagine then as a kid going, one day I'm going to be him? I mean, I never saw any of this coming, me being an actor or anything like mm -hmm. that. So to voice him and then to voice like Dewey from Ducktales and Leonardo from Turtles. It's a dream come true because those are the things I grew up with and like influenced who I am as a human being. And then, of course, you've got the big enemy. Always wonder what he'd look like in real life. Dr. Robotnik. Yep. Eggman. Jim yeah. Carrey. Yep. Yep. And he's he's good as the evil bad guy. He's so funny in it. He, it made me so happy because I feel like it, that's like vintage Jim Carrey. Like the stuff that I grew up loving, like Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura yeah. to the Mask. And he does a performance like that and you're just blown away that he can be so funny by like moving his fingers. This is my power. And I'm using it to protect my friends. Let's go! So, you're supposed to be Tom's best friend that he won't shut up about. Well, I don't see the appeal. That is very gross. Let's go!